We're going to use a ballistics program to calculate and then print a drop chart that you can use to compensate for drop and wind. The first thing you need to do is go to g7.com. Then go to the ballistics program. Now we have an interface that allows you to log on and store all your ballistic profiles. And it's a very simple thing to create an account. The first thing that we need to do is configure your load data. Essentially that is your bullet and your muzzle velocity. Now you can pick your bullet from a chart or you can pick a factory load that has the bullet and the muzzle velocity. We're going to use the Berger uh, 168 VLD with a 617 BC. We're going to run that 3,025 feet per second. Our range elevation is about 4,375 in feet, uh, but our temperature is going to be more like 30 degrees. Now that's the main environmental data that you need to have but we also want to verify that we have some wind inputs. Now this wind input will allow you to pick the direction and the speed. So we're going to set 3 o'clock wind, 10 mile per hour. Now finally we need to configure your sighting data. Uh, scope height, that's center of board, a center of scope. Zero range is where you zero your gun to hit. Uh, we're going to zero that at 200. And then we are ready to calculate a drop chart. Now you can configure this drop chart for any range. We're going to make a thousand yards and recalculate that. And this gives me my output for drop and wind deflection. You can configure this for click information or inches, mils, etc. And you can see the inputs here. Wind speeds 10 mile an hour at 3 o'clock, uh, etc. So I have my drop and wind calibrated in minutes of angle out to a thousand yards. I'm ready to print my drop chart. It's that easy. I'm Aaron Davidson. That is calculating and printing a drop chart, and now you can do it yourself.